Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, if you have plans this evening, you'll actually be okay. You'll be dealing with some scattered showers, some breezes, but the really strong winds hold off until very late tonight. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a minute. First, though, I did want to show you the showers that were really uh, pounding Providence with some pretty good rain about 10 minutes ago. Now they're pretty much gone. You can see on live pinpoint Doppler 12, the skinny line still has some pretty steady rain to it, but now it's into the Attleboro's, the East Bay of Rhode Island approaching Fall River. Let's take you in a little bit closer just to show you uh, the difference here. About 10 minutes ago, we were covered in the green here in Providence. Now you can see the green is pushed off to the east uh, towards the uh, Rehoboth area, East Providence. Providence now free of the steady rain. And just to prove that to you, we were really adding up these raindrops quickly here on the camera lens 10 minutes ago. Now they're still there, but no additional raindrops are being added. And other than some scattered showers here and there, most of the evening in Providence and areas to the west is rain free for the rest of the night. Although maybe some patchy drizzle in areas of fog from time to time. Narragansett looking okay right now. Temperatures have been on the cool side today, that's for sure. In the mid-40s right now, 46 in Newport. Westerly, the big winner at a balmy 50 right now. On the threat tracker, we leave you in the medium category, not because of rain, but because of the very gusty winds moving in late tonight. Through tomorrow, this will be a long-duration wind event, and then on Wednesday, back into the low category. The winds right now, not so bad, between about 5 and 15 miles an hour, but one of the reasons we'll see these winds really start to get going is this thing right here. This is a center of low pressure. Notice the impressive swirl here in the atmosphere moving in over upstate New York. Some of this will transfer its energy over here. Notice what happens. This is our wind future cast. Pay attention to where the arrows are. Nothing doing right now, but look at everything just kind of rushing like a river of wind overnight. And then this, this is through tomorrow afternoon. Notice how the gusty winds do keep up for a good part of the day. So. Overnight, after around 10 o'clock, expect winds between about 30 and 40 miles an hour. And then early tomorrow morning through tomorrow afternoon, gusts potentially 35 to 45. Could see some gusty winds up to around 50 across Cape Cod and eastern Massachusetts with these temperatures in the 50s. So keep in mind, with these gusty winds, this will feel a little cooler than they actually look here on the screen. Between about 48 and 49 for high in Burville and around 50 in Attleboro, 51 in Seekonk, 51 in Fall River. Definitely the type of day where you need two hands on the steering wheel and there is the potential of some isolated power outages with some smaller limbs coming down in those wind gusts. So we'll keep an eye on that situation for you. Seven day future cast is an interesting one. Now Wednesday is quiet. You can see once we get through tomorrow, Wednesday starts a little on the cool side at 30. We get up to 55 on Wednesday, increasing clouds on Thursday, milder on Friday and actually Thursday as well. Look what happens to the weekend though. 54 on Saturday, a high of 45 on Sunday, going back to the 20s and 30s Monday morning. So we're not completely done with these cold weather patterns just yet, unfortunately. You can always uh, get an updated Futurecast over on our website and also download our weather app, which you can take along with you. But definitely get ready for some wind moving in later on tonight. All right. Thanks so much. And